Welcome to a very brief demonstration of some of the resources that can be used to locate systematic reviews. We're going to start with the PubMed database, uh, which contains more than 23 million citations, and we're going to use a function that uh, some people are unaware of, which is the clinical queries function. So you go to the main PubMed front page, and you click on the button in the, uh, on the link uh, under PubMed tools that says clinical queries. And this essentially gives you a different interface to PubMed. It runs what are called filters to try and find higher quality evidence. And you'll notice that these filters constitute clinical study categories, which would include randomized controlled trials, systematic reviews, and one that we don't need for this particular purpose, medical genetics. So we're going to just use a very simple topic of malaria and bed nets now be aware that bed nets can be spelt in a number of ways. It can be spelt as uh, malaria nets, it can be spelt bed nets or one word, or bed space nets. And so we would use uh, all permutations in our full search. So we click on the search button and here it's running malaria bed nets but against a subset of references that are either um, RCTs or systematic reviews. And so what we're interested in for this demonstration is this middle set of results. It's found 17 uh, systematic reviews, uh, which uh, includes, uh, uh, as in this case here, includes trials that have a, a, a sizable review component. So that's the PubMed clinical queries, and obviously you can click through any of these references uh, to uh, identify a review that actually meets uh, your particular interest. So moving on to the TRIP database. The TRIP database has um, a similar um, Google-like uh, search interface. So again, I'm going to type in malaria, and uh, in this case we'll type in nets. But we could use um, the previous um, form formulation. Um, and we just type search and what you'll notice is a summary of results down the right hand side which allows you to um, narrow um, to particular types of evidence. So if we were to click on this link here we see that there are 25 systematic reviews and uh, that would just restrict to that particular set of articles and we would then browse through those to find the particular populations and settings we're interested in. There are other types here, you'll see uh, controlled trials, you'll see uh, guidelines, uh, but of particular interest in the context of this module, there are filters for the developing world, and so if we want to see how many of these reviews are specific to the developing world, we would click on sensitive and uh, see that in fact a large proportion of them are unsurprisingly within that context. Finally, the health evidence uh, database. This does require pre-registration, um, but once you've uh, registered, then uh, you can use it as much uh, as you want, as long as you remember your login. And again, uh, although this is a smaller data set, we would enter our topic of interest. Notice we're not using particularly complex search strategies because we're trying to locate review level evidence. Uh, there are various search tips and tutorials to uh, augment uh, this particular demonstration. And so we do search there and you'll see that not only do um, these uh, articles appear um, but there is a rating of quality and uh, also um, there are various commentaries so this is a particularly useful source even though um, the chance of you finding reviews for your topic are less than in the bigger databases of TRIP and PubMed. So uh, any particular queries please feel free to email me. Do use the support materials that are available um, with each resource and uh, I hope that you find relatively pain, uh, uh, painlessly uh, your um, review that you're going to write a critical commentary of for your assignment. Thank you.